On today's episode, we're going to be restoring all the trim pieces off my 1988 BMW 535iS. In the last video, we sanded the body of the car, laid down our base and clear coat, and even cut and buffed the whole car. So now, before we put everything back together, we're going to polish, dye, and sandblast every other part before we throw it back on the car. And honestly, these parts really need it. You can easily tell nothing's been touched in the past 35 years, so a nice restoration of everything we took off would really let the car stand out once it's all done. The first thing we're going to start with is the plastic door trim. I like to use soapy water and a round of degreaser to really clean everything up. And after that, we're going to mask everything off and polish the chrome stripes since they've gotten pretty hazy. And after that, we're going to use a magic eraser sponge to get rid of the first layer of oxidation all over these trim pieces. The sponge isn't abrasive, but still has a little bit of grit to help remove the damaged surface. Next, we're going to hit it with three coats of Sem Trim Black. Everything we're painting today will get three nice coats. Next, the hood trim and the inner grille will get the same treatment, but the bezel is going to get a nice polish. The difference is night and day. Mother's polish really worked wonders. Since these parts are really brittle, I'm gonna hit it with a nice coat of adhesion promoter. It'll help the paint stick a bit better. Next, we're going to work on the fog lights.
After washing the housings, we're gonna hit it with some sem trim black and work on the bulbs while it dries. The lenses have massive pittings, so we'll have to resurface them. We're gonna begin sanding with 600, 800, and then 1000 grit before mixing up our clear coat. Coating our lenses with clear coat will remove all the old pitting, bring back the clarity, and even give them some UV protection from here on out. These fog lights are looking 35 years younger. Unlike the fog lights, these tail light lenses are actually made of plastic, but will get a similar treatment. The chrome on E28s and E30s isn't actually chrome, it's anodized aluminum. So the only way to make them shine like chrome is to remove the anodizing and polish the bare aluminum and recoat with a sealant. Mine aren't in the best condition so it's not worth resealing. So all I'm gonna do is polish these parts until I can get some replacements. And 
honestly, bare polishing is still giving some good results. Next comes the spoiler. After cleaning it up, all it needs is a few coats of Semtrim Black. I even decided to refinish the door handles. I probably shouldn't have used Sem Trim Black on metal parts, but the results are still better than before. And here's a look at everything we just restored, and the difference is night and day. It's hard to believe these are all the same parts, but at this point I might as well reinstall everything we got, including the door locks. Let's not forget about the tail lights. They came out fantastic. <sighs> and just like that, we're one step closer to a completed car. Man, look at that paint job, she is shining. And even the chrome, the chrome cleaned up a lot nicer than I thought it would, and the door trim looks absolutely brand new. I wasn't able to install some parts such as the hood trim and the front grille because we don't have a bumper or a hood installed on the car just yet. But we can take care of all that in the next episode. But uh, that's just about it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching, I hope this helped you out a little bit, and if it did, think about dropping a subscribe, it really helps. But uh, yeah, man, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.